In this video, I will show the setup and operation of my Telescope Mirror Fuco tester. The tester is made up of a platform with a webcam and zoom lens. It has a stepper motor slide which adjusts the knife edge in the direction of the mirror. It uses a primitive command interface to a serial terminal to move the stage and take measurements. I move the tester for initial placement while watching a video from the camera. I rotate the platform to center the mirror in the video. I use leveling screws for initial placement. For initial Fuco positioning, I cut into the return path by sliding the platform sideways. I use small cut-in adjustments with the leveling screws to get the desired Fuco image. At the top of the stage, I have an assembly which holds the knife edge or other measurement device. Shown here, I have a knife edge and I can flip it out of the way so I can get better position alignment of the camera. I can add in a Ronke grating which gets held in place with magnets. I can replace the first assembly with the second assembly. That second assembly has a laser diode in it with the lens removed and the voltage applied to it is, is so low that it creates a very pinpoint source of light. The knife edge is held in place with magnets and can be easily repositioned. Although the camera has an iris adjustment, I leave it wide open. The camera has built-in auto exposure and I haven't found an application that I can disable that feature. Next I adjust the zoom on the lens to get the desired size of the mirror in the video image. To aid in focusing the camera, I apply a Siemens star pattern to the mirror and then use the focusing adjustment on the lens to bring the image perfectly in focus. I then darken the room, turn up the LED brightness as far as I can get it, and then I use a piece of cardboard to observe the reflected image off of the mirror back to the tester. And I can use this to get a rough position of where the tester needs to be. With the LED fairly bright, I move the platform around and see if I can capture some part of the image of the mirror. I rock the mirror back and forth until the image in the mirror is perfectly centered. I then turn the intensity down on the LED. I rock the mirror up and down and I move the platform left and right so that I position the hottest return from the LED to the center of the mirror image. I can now turn the intensity of the LED back up, flip the knife edge back in place, and I can start to see a Fuco image. I move the platform towards the mirror and away from the mirror and slightly move it left and right to get the desired starting Fuco image. As an alternative, I can install a Ronke grating and I can get Ronke diagrams. In order to get the Ronke diagram properly illuminated, I can move the platform left and right and find the best spot to fully illuminate the mirror image. I've written a PC application to help me analyze the video images from the mirror tester. The image on the upper right is the raw video image from the camera. The image on the lower left is the video filtered over about 20 seconds. The images on the right 
are created by taking the original image, flipping it, and subtracting the two. And you end up with a ring that indicates an area of approximately equal brightness on the image. The application allows the user to click on that ring and it will calculate the radius of where that ring appears on the mirror. Measurements from various radius of curvatures can be taken and entered into a FUCO analysis software to get a complete map of the surface of the mirror. Thank you for watching this video. I would appreciate any feedback.